Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of my 100 Day to Prosperity Challenge journey. It's me, Tamisha. I'm so glad to have you here today. And basically what I do is I'm an internet marketer, but I'm also a teacher. So my, the goal of my channel is to teach others to start their business, to grow their business, and how to sustain their business for the long haul. And also I give product reviews, I give tools, uh, teach tools and how to use them, strategies, tips, and sometimes I give a little encouragement and a little kick in the behind if you need to, to make sure that you are successful for the long haul. If that is what you need, then make sure that you click the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I drop a new video, which happens to be daily at this point. All right, so right now we're going to go to our topic of, I guess, whatever the series are. We've been talking about traffic. And so far in traffic, we've been talking about solo ads. And so we have been talking about the pros and cons. We talk about different type of solo ads. Um, we talked about uh, solo ads on Facebook and what you should look for and yada, yada, yada. So today we're going to talk about how to actually build a relationship and talk to the vendor, especially if you're getting your solo ad vendor from Facebook. And like I said, Facebook has their own um, so ad groups. So all you have to do is join. There's nothing major about that. And some of them you have to answer a few questions, but it's nothing serious. So you answer the questions and then you get um, put in the group and it's all awesome. And basically you get in the group and you give testimonials or all you can do is give testimonials on an actual solo ad provider and what they've provided for you. Um, and that is what the group is about, giving testimonials to solo ad providers. And uh, other solo, solo ad providers, basically, that is how they promote their solo ads. They go on to these testimonial sites and somehow get people to give them money. And then they provide for these people and then they get the testimonial or the little shout out. Uh, sometimes it's not always a good thing and you will read through that and get that information as well but you want to be able to choose a good solo ad provider and in finding that especially in a Facebook or a Skype group you need to ask a few questions so the first question is what niche do they provide for in Udemy, you don't have to worry about that because they give a little description of all of the solo ad providers. So you don't really have to worry about, you know, is the solo ad list going to, you know, be compatible with my offers because they generally give a background story in Udemy. But in Facebook, there is no real background story. I guess you can go click on the profile, but sometimes they don't even give that information. So you want to first friend the vendor that you want to get um, the solo ads from, and then you need to ask them what niche do they provide solo ads to. Uh, and after you get that information, if it's compatible to your niche, your next question should be, well, how much do you charge, right? And um, you want to get it down to like a dollar to a dollar fifteen per click. If you can get a better deal, great. But generally, the cheaper the deal, generally. Now, sometimes it's not always the case, but generally, the cheaper the deal, the less clean the traffic and you want to make sure that you get good traffic and remember good traffic is from tier one which is usa australia the uk canada new zealand because they all have credit cards and they're all in an economic um country that actually can afford to buy whatever product that you are offering. So you want them to have a credit card because that's how they're going to pay you. And you want them to be economically stable enough to actually pay you. Okay. So those are things that you need to actually think about. And so of course the niche, 
how much they charge. And because they're on, you know, Facebook, you might can get a good deal. So you can kind of haggle a little bit, but try to get them at least under a dollar fifteen per click if it costs more than that. Okay. And so after you've haggled a good price, you know, tell them, you know, I'm just buying my first hundred clicks to basically test out the traffic. And, you know, if I enjoy or get good results with the traffic, then I will definitely buy more. So that will actually help you get the good traffic that they got because they want the repeat business, right? There's no sense in, you know, getting traffic for or giving traffic just one time. That's not a wise business person. You want to keep your customers happy. So if you if they know up front that you're testing them out, then they'll probably do the best for you so that you can come back. All right. That's a good tip right there. All right. The second tip or the second thing you want to ask, well, that's not the second. What is it? The third thing. See, I'm I'm all discombobulated. I don't even know what number we're on. What number are we on? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. How long does it take for them to actually start the process of giving traffic? And generally you want it to be less than 72 hours. I was, um, it is a well-known uh, traffic solo ad provider. And, you know, he was taking a long time to start my traffic. And, you know, he made all these guarantees, but like there was nothing happening. And then as I found out from other people, oh, no, you don't really want to deal with him. And I was like, OK, well, let me, you know, pull my money real quick. And then, you know, I had he had to keep some of my money because that was part of the contract deal that I came up with. So I didn't get all my money back, which is you know, frustrating, but that's the way you learn, right? You live and you learn. So you want them to start within 72 hours, all right? If they start like right, if they can start right then, that's a bad sign. That means they have no orders, all right? And if they have no orders, then that means that they might not be a good solo ad provider. So you want, they want to at least be able to give you a day or two out, meaning that they have other people in the king and ahead of you that they're promoting for. That's a, that's a good thing. One or two days is good. 72 hours is okay. More than 72 hours, bad, bad, bad run. That, that's some organization issue or something that's happening in the business that does not look good or will not be good for you, okay? So make sure that you think about that. Also, big, huge question. When is the last time someone came to them with your same exact order asking to put their, or paying to put their information out or to promote their offer? That is a huge question, y'all, because, you know, we're all, internet marketers and we, there's more than one pe person promoting for uh, more a whole bunch of different things and some things are going to get promoted a whole lot more depending on the season depending on you know all sorts of different things so you know if you're using a reputable solo ad company more than likely they have seen your offer before so the issue is the issue, the issue is you want to make sure that the list that you're being, that's being promoted your offer has not seen your offer recently because then they're like, I just saw this. Why do I want to, you know, opt into this? I mean, I just saw this yesterday. And so they're not going to take your offer seriously if they saw it within the last two or three days. Good practice good rule of thumb is like two to three weeks okay so the longer the better because of course you want people to continue seeing the offer because people don't always buy on the first go round and so it's good to at least see it put it out there and then they're on your list so then you can keep promoting to them hopefully giving contact content to them as well but you can keep promoting to them and then eventually they will buy from you but if they keep seeing that offer 
with other people and they haven't bought in the past, it's going to be less likely that they're going to buy from you if they keep seeing it back to back to back. So that is a huge thing that you want to make sure that you ask. Okay. Also, you want to ask how long is it going to take for it to finish? Okay. Usually that's about two days. So you should usually get your clicks once it starts, within two days, all of them should be finished, okay? And if there's an issue with that, you need to, you know, run. If it's too short, run. If it's too long, run. They might not have enough inventory to give you all your clicks, which is bad, <laughs> okay? So make sure that you are, you know, think about that and actually take action on that and make sure you ask the questions that need to be asked. And I'm going to make sure real quick that I've gotten all the questions. Oh, is there a guaranteed opt-in rate? So remember I told you before that if it's less than 30% opt-in rate, there's is no good. No, no nada. Okay. Do not mess with them. All right. Because it's, it's not good if they can only offer you 25% opt-in rate because you can go to someone else and get a better opt-in rate and probably won't pay that much more. So make sure that you ask them, is there a guaranteed opt-in rate? And if they're saying something in the 20s or the 10s, then you need, you know, they need to hit the road. Okay. So think about that. Um, and look at ridiculous opt-in rates. Like if they can say, I can give you a hundred percent opt-in rate, they're full of crap. All right. That that's not realistic. So, <laughs> the, you know, it, it's both sides to the same point. You want to make sure that they're honest and give in good integrity because you want to make sure that when you're giving somebody your hard earned money and basically this is all on this is basically on faith that they're giving you what you ask them. There's no proof. You know, you don't, you can't get the list ahead of time. You can't see who it is that you're going to promote to. So basically this is like blind faith. You are blindly giving a person money, hoping that they will actually give, send out your email to, Oh, ask them about email swipes too. ask them if they take email swipes. Um, so you're hoping that they send out your actual email to their list, that they actually have a list that they're, that is a good buying list and that you're going to get some type of positive result, which is the opt-ins. Will you necessarily get sales? Not necessarily. Okay. It just depends on the part of the list that you get. Um, some lists are very responsive if they're taking care of their list, if they're adding new people in some lists are kind of, you know, lackadaisical, you know, they want to take their time and, you know, get to know the person that they're buying from and build a relationship with, and they're not quick to jump in to any type of business deal, which is a smart practice. So sometimes you'll get sales, sometimes you won't. The best practice, though, is to get at least 1%. So you should get one lead or one sale per 100. Is that guaranteed? No, because that just depends on the people that, you know, they're marketing the list or where you are in their funnel if you're doing funnel clicks, okay? So that's what you need to think about. That's what you need to ask your vendors. And if you ask your vendors and you get good positive results, basically the answers that I basically told you, <clears throat> they need to have the tier one traffic. They need to have at least 85%. Okay. And you can look through their testimonials to see if that's what they have. And they need to have, you know, a good buying traffic. They need to give the links, the clicks that they, that you actually ordered at least the number of clicks that you order. Good buying practices that they at least give 10% over delivery. And that's a good buying practice. And um, also, can they answer all the other questions that I asked here? And can they ask answer them to their your satisfaction? Are they willing to negotiate and work with you? If this is a good fit, you will know, all right? 
you will get the answers that you need and you will see the testimonials that they have and you will feel confident to blindly give them your money. <laughs> I hope this content or this video was of value to you. If it was, make sure you give me the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I'm giving you free videos right now every day and they're fresh and I want you to be successful because that's what I'm all about. I'm all about seeing people win. And if I know that you can win, I know that God's blessing is going to be on me for me to win as well. I, um, if you need something tangible, like you didn't get all the questions and you're confused and you don't know what to ask, get my free checklist, okay? My free checklist is my free gift to you is to help you on your affiliate marketing, internet marketing journey. It is in my description box. Make sure you download it, take a gander and follow through, all right? Don't just have it sitting on your computer collecting uh, proverbial dust, okay? Internet dust. Actually do something with it, all right? And it gives you step-by-step actionable steps and it also gives you companies that actually that i've talked about and so you can do your own research and follow through with what you need in your business all right and finally if you want to do or want to know how i'm learning all this information and what it is that i'm doing to help myself become free in 2019, make sure you click the first link in the description box and that will give you all the information you need to know. It's a great program. It teaches you how to do this business right. It is a program where you earn and learn the business at the same time, all right? And if that is what you're down for, then please check us out. We have a great community, great support system. We will definitely help you get where you need to go, okay? So until next time, my friend, make sure that you think big, dream big, take action so that you may own the life of your dreams. Bye now.